Welcome back to Owanapedia, the one-stop center for Uganda's history. But we are becoming a one-stop center for regional history, especially in the last few days on matters concerning Uganda and Rwanda. Um, yes, I buy Uganda and drink Uganda. This is Uzima, a product of the National Enterprises Corporation of which is the business arm of the Uganda People's Defense Forces. They make very good water, and uh, that means a people's army that does not leave off the people like ticks, but can also contribute to the economy. So the comrades who are hatched the idea of bottling water in the armed forces, we salute you. Um, I want to thank you for the responses you have given us so far in this series on the two sister countries of Uganda and Rwanda. And let me straight away say this. My 35 years or so years in journalism have given me some level of immunity from the kind of responses which some of you have been sending. Some of you have been insulting the others, including me. Uh, but that is to be expected whenever you reveal things that probably should have been kept somewhere or um, uh, cast on the dung heap of history for the convenience of whoever would benefit from that. Um, but I think what we should do is to use this rich history to make sure that we don't repeat the mistakes of the past. Some of you are very busy looking for who to blame, this one didn't do this, this one wants to roll the others, what? just supposing it is true. Uh, I find it interesting that you are still talking about people, two people, but I'm trying to talk about two nations which have existed before these two people did and which will exist even when they are gone. So. I want us to graduate from the level of bickering, name calling, because of Anapedia, let me assure you, it is very committed to what it is doing. And I hope it is in my lifetime, despite this gray head, that we once again start looking at each other as brothers, like we used to do not very many years ago. These differences can be cast aside and it will be for the benefit of everybody. So we are continuing in this series and this time I want to give you some relief from the pressures which you are building up, some of you deliberately, others innocently. I want to take you into some entertainment that took place when uh, late President Juvenal Abiyarimana hosted the President Museveni in 86 again. I have confirmed that the month was October 86. and. Uh, after all that you've been seeing, they went to to a theatre and were entertained. Then from there, they, I think that was State House of President Abiyarimana. There was planting of trees. I wonder whether the comrades in Rwanda can tell us whether those trees are still there. And from there, they went and signed a joint communique, um, at which uh, the commitment to brotherly relations was further uh, emphasized. Like I've been reminding you, uh, the president was escorted by two of his ministers, Minister for Constitutional Affairs, Sam Kaliga and Joba, now the late, and uh, the Minister for Regional Cooperation, John Sevanachisto, also now the late. Let's get some entertainment, and then we shall go into the joint communique, courtesy of Owanapedia. I always tell you there are people you don't see, and maybe you will take a long time to see them. There is someone behind that camera called Herbert Semiano, a real treasure in this project. Let's take a look.
President Museveni and his host, President Abiyarimana, in the French Cultural Center for a cultural show which is staged for him. day of the state visit to Kigali, President Habyarimana receives President Museveni in his suit. them for uh, the future generations to see, for them to see. And uh, we are going to invite you to proceed uh, straight forward to the tree planting ceremony. Where is the place? In the vicinity oh, of here. Near here. The two presidents move on to a tree planting ceremony at Chigali. President introduced to the Minister of Agriculture. The first seedling is a mango. While on the other hand, his host, President Javier Mano, also plants a tree in memory of this visit. President Museveni planted a second seedling of avocado tree. The third tree. Uh -huh. Third one is planted jointly by the two presidents of Uganda and Rwanda. I'm going to go to the middle of the middle of the middle of the After the planting of the trees, symbolizing the peace, the unity, and the progress of the two countries, the two presidents now walk back to their villa.
President Museveni receiving a gift of a carpet which was made near the border with Zaire from President Habyarimana. Another gift is of a tanned skin cover made of goat skin gift to President Yoweri Museveni. And a painting depicting the wild life of Rwanda. set of furniture made of wood the seats the stools Also made from palm leaves. Then is the drums. They are for beating, but this one is for tea. Then the gifts from President Museveni to his host, President Juvenal Habyarimana. President signed communique of joint cooperation between the two countries.
Now the two leaders exchanged a communique. They have been signing of joint cooperation between Uganda and Rwanda. En République rwandaise, par son Excellence Joeri Kaguta Museven, président de la République de l'Ouganda. À l'invitation de son Excellence, le général-major Abdiarimana Juvenal, président de la République rwandaise et président fondateur du mouvement révolutionnaire son Excellence Yoweri Kaguta Museven, président de la République de l'Ouganda, a effectué du 29 au 31 octobre 1986 une visite officielle au Rwanda. Cette visite était destinée à marquer l'importance que les deux chefs d'État attachent au renforcement constant. Ministre <laughs> Decisions and uh, uh, the joint communique and uh, all that uh, was done during the state visit of President Museveni was uh, closely followed by uh, everybody. And uh, if uh, not everybody followed uh, what uh, was said and done during this state visit, I want to ask the pressmen if they want, if they need any other comment. Yes, there you are. I hope you have added value. There wasn't so much politics that we've been seeing in the others. And that should give you some time now to reflect on what I'm saying. One, we are still a young project, but we must come to a time when we agree on certain principles. Insulting people who are no longer around to defend themselves will not do. If you describe someone as stupid, foolish, they are not around. If they were, maybe you would have a debate with them on how stupid they are. But since they are not around, and since you will also one time not be around, take a little care in respecting the dead, whatever your opinion is about them. Two, whereas this channel is a young channel, and we are trying to be as neutral as possible as media practitioners, I can tell you straight away that in the event of a conflict between our two countries, I will be very, very Ugandan. And that's one area, that's the point I don't want us to reach. We have been busy discussing people. I'm trying to drive you away from discussing people, but some of you are insisting on people, ignoring the facts which we started with that these two countries and other countries, we are around, are around, and will be around long after those you have problems with have gone. So, we should work more towards avoiding that area of conflict than working towards that area of conflict. That is where salvation is for all of us. Um, like I said, I have been in journalism for only 35 years. And it has given me some measure of immunity, like I said, from insults. But the idea is that our countries need each other almost desperately. 
I don't want to dwell on what would happen in the event of a conflict which all of us should strive towards avoiding. But especially at a time like this when uh, our brethren are celebrating or marking the, the, the anniversary of the genocide, this should be a time for revisiting our past and making sure we avoid repeating the mistakes that would have led us to where we were when these troubles started. Three, there is a very, very serious immediate problem to deal with. And this one has no respect for borders or political opinions, and that is that disease called COVID. There are those who are investing time in trying to find out who designed it in a certain laboratory, whether it was a Chinese, whether it is from Trump. The time you spend on that one might expose you to the disease. So the immediate thing to do is to follow what your leaders in government are saying so that you remain alive and make inquiries later. But you are concentrating on trying to make inquiries now and in the process some of you are exposing yourselves to, to the danger. You will not be around sample the results of your efforts. Um, there's a favorite uh, remark I always quote from someone who was passing uh, who was passing via a cemetery and at the cemetery there was a, a sign. You are what we were and you will be what we are. Now comrades let us first fight COVID. After we have defeated it, then we look for whoever might have brought it. Which brings me back again to the theme. Let us first avoid the areas of conflict and actually get rid of conflict. Then we can philosophically work backward and say, but what was troubling us the other time? Some of us are trying to revive the conflict as if we want additional doses of it. That conflict is as bad as COVID, so let's unite our efforts towards getting rid of conflict and of disease. Then we can study the solutions later and even get PhDs from it. What do we have next? This one was designed to relieve some pressure which we are building and getting ready to fight each other and abuse. But the next uh, insertion we have about to uh, President Museveni's state visit to Rwanda in 1986, the month of October, also involves very, very fundamental issues which uh, were raised, including President Museveni's pledge that the refugees in Uganda would not attack President Abiyarimana as Rwanda. But the President, as you will see, also took effort to read to President Abiyarimana the 10-point program, the highlights of which are to maintain our independence from foreign interference. Mm -hmm. The other one is Pan-Africanism, the 10-point program, and ensuring that our neighbors are not oppressed. Now, if President Abiyarimana did not read through the President's short statement, and was confidently thinking that uh, Uganda would keep refugees here against their will is a subject that will be for discussion after you watch the next. Stay tuned to Wanapedia. There are people you never see here. Uh, Herbert Semiano is behind that camera. He will take a very long time to come here because now I'm fully in charge here. But I don't think you would be seeing me if he wasn't standing right behind there. So on his behalf and on behalf of Wanapedia, stay tuned.